French fries is I, Marcel. And today we are going to Paris. Oh, Mr. Waxdark, it's time for your injection. But I am Marcel, aren't I? What a strange man. But yes, Paris it is. We're going to leave that hyper-expressive world of English and Italian madrigals from the late 16th century and early 17th century and go earlier than thou to the world of the Parisian chanson in the 1540s, a repertoire I first learned to love through the King's Singers recordings in the late 1970s. If you want to look further into this music, do try Ensemble Clément Janequin, as they really are les couilles du chien. French chansons are so historically important because the first printing press that could really efficiently handle text and music was developed in Paris in the late 1520s by a printer called Pierre Atteignant at the Rue de la Harpe. And so a lot of these chansons were printed and then disseminated all over Europe through these new printing presses and had a sort of disproportionate influence as a result. So early Italian madrigals are heavily influenced by French chansons and instrumentalists would take the chansons and do their own versions of them. There are two types of Parisian chansons. One is uh, rather madcap, busy, full of energy, uh, polyphonic in a sort of four-square way. And the most famous composer of these was Clément Janequin, and Yves Agilini is going to be releasing a full film of his most famous piece, or I think his most famous piece, The Stag Hunt, shortly. The other type is lyrical, simple, chordal, no busy polyphony, and apparently emotionally quite restrained, but within these textures you can find simmering emotions. It's one of these that we're going to do today. The composer is Pierre Regnault, uh, not much about him in the records, born 1490, about the same time as Henry VIII, and uh, took his name, uh, took a sort of nickname, Sandrin, from a character in a play at the time who answered any question put to him by singing the first line of a chanson. What are you doing today, Dad? I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky. Are you enjoying your breakfast? Ich grolle nicht. Well, I've been saying for a long time now, the secret to this game is find something, find a technique, and make it work for you. And that's what he's done there. Pretty uh, unorthodox, pretty effective. I'd imagine fairly irritating for friends and family, but he makes it work. Sandrin worked at the Royal Chapel, but there's no sacred music of his left just these 40 or 50 chansons in this smooth, graceful style. Here's the poem. La volonté si longtemps endormie s'éveillera si j'ai ce que je pense. Je sens au cœur que mon désir s'avance et à peu près fait contente ma vie. Et tout ainsi que la flamme amortie ou feu couvert rend sa chaleur plus forte, la découvrant la mienne ensevelie, Vive sera pour n'être jamais morte. French is my favourite language to sing in. It's practically a meal in itself. And if you want to get a sense for the spirit of it, then rather than buy a book, look at some film of French people speaking. See how they use their hands. And there's this emphasis on sounds at the front of the mouth. And every word seems to embody the spirit of its meaning. Parce que pour moi, c'était vraiment un plaisir énorme. Well, I've been watching the game for many, many years now. I can tell you I've not seen that too many times. Unorthodox, but pretty effective, you have to say. Marvellous. The music is really just a way of dressing the poetry. It's a way of appreciating the form and subtlety of it. And the musical gestures, longtemps endormis, don't mean anything of themselves. They're just there for their own purposes. It's all about the form and the symmetry. The vocal ranges are quite small, nothing like that monster we looked at in Sing the Score Number no. 5, that Tompkins with nearly two octaves. And these modest ranges meant that it would be relatively easy for your average amateur singer buying these, able to afford these for the first time, uh, to be able to manage them. And it's written very much with this market in mind, which makes it rather lovely that um, we're all singing these pieces at home now. So do share these with other people who might enjoy them. As it's a short piece, we have a little extra for you this week, a Renaissance dance. It's a triple time of version of music from La Volonté, so it'll feel very familiar. Now, I asked my friend Bill Lyons, director of the group The City Music, what the right triple time dance steps would be for this piece, a galliard or a tordillon. But I just stopped listening after a while because he's quite dull. So we're just going to dance a galliard, 
and that goes one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six beats, but only five steps. The French used to call it le cinq pas. And on that fourth beat, you jump higher and you can twist yourself around, do all sorts of exotic things, especially in the privacy of your own home. Here's one I prepared earlier. The performances of both the chanson and the basse dance are from this lovely pair of CDs that Yves Angelini released in 1998 with the viol console Concordia, music from the 1520s to 50s. You can't stream them, but they are still available online. Song and dance coming up. As you know, we're doing these things at the moment to try to raise a bit of money uh, to replace the current loss of income for our singers. Very scary place uh, for freelance singers out there at the moment. Uh, so if you enjoy the series and can pay a little something, pop over to the Friends page where you can make a single donation or better, join our put but niche little friends organisation itself. If you can't, please at least share this film. Thank you. If you'd like to join us live on Sing the Score Extra, that's every Saturday, every second Saturday at 11am, just pop us an email to mail at ifagellini.com and uh, we'll put you on the list. So on with the chanson and its dance, but first here's Greg Skidmore with The Warning. Dudes, there's no warning this week because, like, this is really not hard, so have a go. Okay.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no.